the little injured kangaroo. Hello. My name is Sophia. I live in a small town in the south of Australia and I work as a veterinarian. I spend most of my time here with the animals, and I really enjoy it. I decided to become a veterinarian at a very young age. Since my childhood, I have been curious about the nature of animals, and I watch them with curiosity. My interest in animals comes from my mother, because she was also a veterinarian. We used to take little walks in the woods with my mother and treat sick animals we found in the woods. I enjoyed watching my mother's approach to animals. One day, while walking in the woods with my mother, we found a small injured kangaroo. The kangaroo looked very pale and weak. He probably hadn't eaten in days. In fact, kangaroos, by nature, lived in groups. But this baby kangaroo was alone. He was a little startled when we approached him. My mother picked up the kangaroo and brought it to the clinic. We gave some nuts to the kangaroo. It must have been starving. The baby kangaroo, however, was barely able to eat anything. After the kangaroo had eaten, my mother examined its injured leg and dressed it. Fortunately, the wound was not very deep. However, the kangaroo's movements were restricted because of this wound. The kangaroo had to stay in the clinic for one week, before the wound would heal. My mother prepared a proper resting place for the kangaroo and left some insects, herbs, and nuts for the kangaroo to eat. My mother gave me the responsibility of keeping track of the kangaroo's diet. I accepted this responsibility without hesitation. Every morning I would wake up early, and make sure that the kangaroo ate all the herbs and nuts on his plates. The treatment of the baby kangaroo was completed in a week. I really got used to it. I was both happy and sad that he would return to nature again. Mom took one last look at the kangaroo's leg and decided it was okay. The kangaroo could now jump and run as much as he wanted. After we gave him nuts for the last time, we put him in the car. After a 10-minute drive, we reached the woods and left the kangaroo where it belongs. Shortly after, the kangaroo started to jump happily, and then the kangaroo disappeared. My mother hugged me and said, if you become a veterinarian one day, you can help injured animals too. Thus began my veterinary adventure.